everyone, I'm Amy Newmark from Chicken Soup for the Soul. Do you ever wake up knowing that you've had an important dream and then bam, it's gone? That's a shame because our dreams are a window into what our subconscious is trying to tell us. We're too busy during the day to pay attention to that little voice inside that knows us so well. Sometimes our truth is lurking in there, waiting for us to discover it at night through our dreams. Dreams can empower you to confront your challenges. Rebecca Radici had a recurring dream in which a tidal wave was roaring straight at her. She would always stand there frozen as the wave approached. But then she realized something important. Those colossal waves had never actually overtaken me, not once. That helped her to understand that no matter what kind of awful thing came at her, she would prevail. She says, from then on, I viewed those walls of water as a gift. They reassured me that no matter what comes, I'll never be overcome. Dreams can also be your personal GPS for navigating life. They can help you make big decisions. That's what happened to Keisha Reynolds. She was working on a novel about the lives of chimpanzees, and she managed to get accepted for a six-month internship at the famous Jane Goodall Institute in Tanzania. There, Keisha would get to know chimpanzees better, but she would have to give up a good job for this seemingly crazy trip to Africa. Two weeks before her scheduled departure, Keisha was still struggling with her decision. But then one of her coworkers, who didn't even know about her potential trip, told Keisha that she'd had a strange dream. She dreamt that Keisha disappeared from work and was found on a huge yacht running a large enterprise. In the dream, she told Keisha to come back to work, but Keisha responded that she was living her truth and she wasn't going back to her old job. That dream that her colleague had clinched it for Keisha. She did the internship and it changed her life. Something else I learned from our book is that dreams can save your life. Have you ever had a premonition that something bad is going to happen and you've changed your day accordingly or you've warned someone else? Well, Maria Morin, had so many dreams and premonitions that came true that her parents warned her not to tell anyone. But the night before Maria went on a date with a boy named Don, she dreamt that their tire blew and they flew off a mountain road into a ravine. The next day when they were on their date and they were driving on that mountain road, she suddenly screamed at Don to stop just seconds before their front tire exploded. As they sat in the car on the shoulder of that treacherous road in shock, she confessed to Don about her dream and the fact that her dreams and premonitions always came true. That was okay with him though, and they've been married for decades. Another thing dreams can do is reunite you with people you care about. A lot of people have reported vivid dreams during the pandemic, including about people from their pasts. So that's what happened to Sergio Del Bianco. He had repeated dreams about a woman named Gwen who had been kind to him at a job he held in college many decades ago. He became fixated on finding Gwen, and after a prolonged search on Google and Facebook, he found her daughter, who arranged a phone call for them. Sergio found himself crying tears of joy as he talked to Gwen and told her how much she had meant to him. Well, a few days after that phone call, Gwen's daughter called to say that her 90-year-old-plus mother had quietly passed away in her sleep and that it seemed like she had hung on just long enough to hear from Sergio. Those are just a few of the tales of inner guidance, divine intervention, and miraculous insight that we share with you in this new collection. Whatever is going on in your life, I'm sure of one thing. After you read these stories, you'll definitely want to listen to your dreams.